All right, one of the last upgrades I'm doing to this 2014 RT this spring is a trailer hitch and a wiring harness. So let's get started. <clears throat> the wiring harness <clears throat> is going to plug in here. So I'm going to take this off. I've seen videos of people pulling this bolt out and then the back one, of course, right there. And then wrenching this up and I'm just not going to take the chance of <clears throat> breaking that body panel. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. forgot to take this off. One more bolt under here. So <clears throat> in order to get this off, you have to take this one off. So that's what we're doing here. Got a push pin here. And <clears throat> this new bolt for the NBV um, highway pegs I put on. This one is a really short one, so remember that when you're putting them back together. And then these three. And there's a, these clips here slide over this. So when you're putting them back together, make sure you get that in there the way it came out. This bolt in the back here is kind of hard to get to. So it's best if you have a uh, small ratchet that you can put a bit into It's also a short one. And then <clears throat> you have to unplug the uh, uh, 
plug for the so you have a passenger and then okay now we need to take this cover off and then pull the bolts out to hold this back piece so it'll drop down a little bit Two need to come loose also. And the same over here. Okay, getting this off, <clears throat> you want to, uh, it has to come out and up because of this angle here, but you don't want to jerk it too hard or pull too far out because you don't want to bust those tabs off that the bolts go into. And the reason I'm doing the wiring harness first is just so I'm not having to work around that uh, trailer hitch because the trailer hitch is like a five minute thing. So this wiring harness <coughs> is a plug and play. So it just plugs into the existing wiring harness. This whole setup I bought off eBay. It's not a uh, BRP hitch. So it's SS Custom Wire. They do not have a website as far as I know. Um, if they're still on eBay, I will link the auction <coughs> in the description. One of the things I'm not sure of yet which time will tell, is I installed a gear brake on my spider, which is uh, makes your brake lights flash when you hit the brakes or decelerate hard. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I can plug in, if that gear brake is gonna be good enough to flash the trailer brakes as well, but I'm gonna try it. Worst that can happen is I'll burn it up, but Anyway, I'm going to pause the video here and blow this dust off. And magic. All the dust is blown out of there. So the gear brake <coughs> is also a plug and play. So here is the, uh, 
here is the factory harness that comes um, up from the front of the bike. Here's the gear brake. And then here is the factory harness going back. So I'm going to plug into that with this. I think first I'll run the wire through here. So we're going to go um, Tight quarters there, especially since I have my gear brake mounted. All right, I'm gonna make this easier on myself. So here's my plan: the uh, <clears throat> most all of the trailer. Um, wiring harnesses I've seen, well all of them, comes out of the bike, comes down and zip ties to your hitch or whatever. What I'm going to do, since there's this void behind here, is I'm going to mount this four pin, just a small trailer connector. I'm going to drill a hole and mount it right there. And then my pigtail for the trailer I can, when I need it, I can just plug in there and use my Night Eyes gear wraps, wrap it to the hitch. <clears throat> when I'm not pulling a trailer, I can take it out and you won't even be able to see that that's there. So that's my plan. And since I'm going to do that, <clears throat> I do not need this plug end on it, which is going to make it easier for me to fish this wire in there. going to be in the way of anything and where that cover will go back on stick it right back there and, and the way this will look if you do not have this gear brake is like this so you just shove this connector off it has a little plastic stay right there and uh, right there, so that's how you'd get your uh, light harness off of the bike, or loose from the bike. I'm going to go under this stuff with this one. Okay. 
All right, let me get my ducks in a row for this uh, outlet I'm gonna install, and then I'll be back. So what I did is drilled a one inch hole. Let me get my flashlight. Two and a half inches in here, two and a half inches from this edge back. I drilled a pilot hole and then used my step bits to drill an inch hole or, you know, whatever connector you end up with. An inch is the one that, that uh, fits mine. There it is. Drop the wire through. I did solder these ends and I also, and we'll seal that up also, but I used, uh, put some dielectric grease in these holes. So, use my cheat sheet here. <clears throat> because weather, moisture, and corrosion are not your friends. And I'm an electronic technician, so we're going to make sure that I only have to do this once. Okay. this up with some RTV just to keep as much moisture out of it as I can And some good quality electrical tape as well. get this bolted in and I'll be back with you when I'm ready to start buttoning things up here. Okay I did forget to mention that there's a T20 plastic screw that is right here. Hopefully you can see that right there and you can get in there with a one of these little ratchets and get it out and then get this out so you have room to work. So I have the the uh, trailer connector mounted right there <clears throat> and I have the excess zip tied here so if I end up ever needing to put a new one in or rewire it I can have plenty to pull out and work on it. Um, 
have a flat washer, lock washer, and nut. So, I think we're ready to start putting stuff back together here. Strip those plastic ones out. Okay. Let's see. Now I just need to remember. Here they are. The ones that go on the body panel up here, those four, have a washer on them. So that's them four. <clears throat> Now, we're ready for this body panel, the rear one. <clears throat> so, has these two hooks here that um, go in here. And then this one goes in right there. So you need to get one side started first. Kind of get this set uh, the back close in place. And then make sure that one's hooked in.
everything's flush and no gap here so we can put the those four back in Okay, so the rear is back together. Now we'll get this put back in here. And this kind of clips in right up here. See, it's got those little hooks in the plastic. So make sure you get that into that groove right there. Just like that. And it's a good time anytime you have this side cover off or you're underneath it and have it jacked up look for the red dust around the front drive pulley make sure your uh, pulley isn't going bad <clears throat> it's my Doc Humphreys belt tensioner also a good time to put a squirt of grease in that but uh, I did that when I serviced it there last fall so we want this one Remember these these hooks here need to go over that. Start with the oddball, the little short one for here. And then the three without washers that go here because they're not into the paint.
<clears throat> and this guy. Now we can put this one on. Backward time with them too. Especially when I'm filming. Remember this has a hook up here. You don't want to break off. Okay, so now we just have the uh, hitch, so I'll get things squared away for that and I'll be back. So you pull your caps off. Um, this cutter key and your axle needs to go away. Now, <clears throat> this one, they send you so the axle goes like this, so the, the cotter key on this end goes over on the right. And this spacer, it says, goes on this side. That might be fun. Cut my finger off here, messing around. Okay. 
So now I need to get this side on. Carefully around your ABS and your brake line. And because this thing, you can pull the uh, hitch out of it, I'm going to put the hitch in it before I tighten up that axle, just to make sure everything's lined up and kosher. I, uh, I did take this after I was done with the sway bar and the springs. The spring adjusters I put on, I uh, took it and had it laser aligned. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it had never been done before on this bike. So this is going to turn into a like a receiver on my Suburban and my truck banging my knees into it. making them snug for now. And then flat washer, lock washer, and nut.
directions did not have any torque specs. It just said tight, so I've never had trouble getting stuff tight before. And then the cutter pin. And then finish tightening these up. to cover up the bolt heads. And one for that one. And there's the hitch. I'll uh, get my pigtail wired and uh, jump jump back on here and show you how it looks thanks I got the pigtail built and I use those uh, night eyes gear ties to tie it on here so when I'm not pulling the trailer I can simply unplug my harness and take it off and not have it on the bike at all so, um, make sure you leave a loop for your suspension to take up travel and make sure you don't have the loop going in toward your uh, belt, your rear sprocket. And we'll try out this gear brake. I did email gear brake and they didn't reply to me asking if I could do the plug and play after it but it seems to work just fine anyway thanks for watching bye